Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes, and today we're checking out the top 25 low spec games that are completely new in 2022 and free to play. If you have a bad PC, don't worry. This is every new free to play game that you should play right now, and I guarantee you'll find a game that you'll love. Now tell me in the comments section below what top 10 video you want next. More free to play games, FPS games, more low spec games, let me know and I'll heart react your comments. But with that said, let's get straight into it. Battlebit Remastered is a low poly FPS that aims for a massively multiplayer experience like Battlefield with up to 254 plays in a single server which is absolutely insane. You fight on a large battlefield with ground vehicles, boats and air support in a near fully destructible map and given Battlefield 2042 is a buggy and glitchy mess this is absolutely perfect to play instead and the community absolutely loves this game especially because of the easy to run low poly ground. Graphics. Eternium is a hack and slash old school action RPG that veteran and new fans of the genre will like. It's your classic RPG through and through. Play as a warrior, mage, bounty hunter, etc., wielding swords, axes, guns, etc., clearing through waves of enemies across a variety of levels. Originally being a mobile game and the old school graphics means Eternium is really easy to run. A Pentium processor and integrated graphics is all you need. Tap Wizard 2 is an idle RPG, combining elements of idle, incremental, action RPG and twin stick shooters together, where you choose a class, start unlocking abilities and try to progress as far as possible. The pixel art is fantastic, but this game isn't just a looker. The gameplay is really solid and feels great to play, which is unique for an idle game. To top it off though, Tap Wizard 2 has one of the lowest specs on today's list, only needing 1GB of RAM and DirectX 9. Bloons Tower Defense is an absolutely classic game series that is still popular to this day, so it makes sense why the next edition called Bloons TD Battles 2 is such a fun game. This game focuses on 1v1 battles where you select a hero and try to overwhelm your opponent with balloons. It's hugely fun, got tons of depth, and on top of that you only need a 2GHz processor and an inbuilt graphics card. Engine Evolution 2021 is next up today, a multiplayer racing game against 11 other players where you can race using 70 plus bikes across 15 plus tracks. It also has a progression system similar to World of Tanks where you're able to unlock more and more bikes and buy various upgrades for each. Graphically it's not top notch but this is good for low spec fans as you only need a 2.2 GHz processor, 2 gigs of RAM and a GTX 660. Super Animal Royale is a 64 player 2D top down battle royale shooter that is extremely high quality. Movement and gunplay are smooth, heaps of detail in the map and the characters are really good as well. On top of this, there's tons of weapons and cute characters, so Super Animal Royale has lots of content. Spec wise, it's super good, as you only need a Core i3 processor and 256 megabytes of video memory, so definitely try this one out. Crystal Clash is a classic mix of lane battles and deck building, centered around an action-packed tug-of-war battle that you play in 2v2 battles, be it co-op with a friend or someone completely new. There's a heavy emphasis on collecting cards and building your deck, and that combined with the fire playable legions means there's tons of stuff to explore. The graphics are simple in nature and therefore easy to run. All you need is an i3 processor and a graphics card with 1GB of VRAM. Red Match 2 is the definition of a low spec free to play shooter. It has easy to pick up but addicting gameplay wrapped in an easy to run package. The game itself is simple, run around with guns and destroy your enemies across the 15 maps in various modes of which are easy to run and are quite fun. This game is perfect to play with your friends, not only because of the small download but also the low specs as you only need a dual core processor and a GTX 500. Battle Royale games are all the rage right now and Super Mecha Champions is another addition to the genre but this game is all about mechs. Like most games, you jump out of a plane, farm up your equipment and try to get some early kills, but once your ultimate charges though you can call in your mech which is a real fun part of the game. Despite being a ported mobile game, Super Mecha Champions is pretty fun and it's also pretty easy to run as you need a low tier i3 and inbuilt graphics. 
Visual novel games are typically known as low spec, and Find Love or Die Train is no exception. The basic story is that you're on a dating show, and you gotta get a girl within 7 days or you die, so there's lots of paths to choose from and about 4 plus hours of content. On top of this, the visuals are great, despite the only requirement being you need 2 gigs of RAM to run it. Chill Corner is less of a game and more of an experience, it's just a place to chill out and listen to cool music. There's heaps of rooms that have great atmosphere and weather, and there's tons of lo-fi and acoustic music to listen to while you relax or study. You can also decorate your room if you want, which is cool, and given the style of this game, it makes sense for minimum specs or a core 2 duo and integrated graphics, so very easy to run. Babel Royale is part of a new generation of word-focused games, and this game is a scrubble-focused battle royale title. Drop in and form words to defeat your opponents. It's super easy to understand, but there is a ton of depth, making this perfect for Scrabble and multiplayer fans alike. Spec-wise, a low-tier Core i3 and 256MB of video RAM is needed. Very easy to run indeed. Next up is probably one of the best free-to-play Roblox FPS games out there, and it's called Riotfall. This game is super inspired by Call of Duty, but in the best way possible. It's got great movement and shooting mechanics, along with really cool maps. It's fun to run around, shoot some enemies, and rack up the kills, and because it's a Roblox game, it makes sense why this game is so easy to run. Next up is Piratopia, a pirate action sailing game focused on PvE and PvP battles. You control a ship in the middle of a huge world filled with islands, and there's tons of stuff to do including looting NPCs or other plays with your ship's attacks, and then using the looted items to upgrade your ship and craft ammo. It looks great, plays great, and you just need an i3 and any graphics card. Goose Goose Duck is simply free to play Among Us, but arguably even better. It's got the same concept, but this time there is tons of sub roles, different game modes, and even voice chat which really just enhances the experience. Intel Core 2 Duo, 2 gigs of RAM, and integrated graphics are the minimum to run this game, the definition of low spec for sure. Bomber Gun is a competitive card game set in a post-apocalyptic universe, featuring an easy to understand but in-depth set of rules. Unlike most card games, there is no card collecting or loot boxes, which is really cool and it goes and streamlines the experience. System specification wise, it's awesome. You only need a 2GHz processor, 1GB of RAM and DirectX 10. That's it. Zelda Singularity is probably the most addicting idle clicker game I've ever played, as I've got almost 20 hours into it this year. You unlock DNA, early animals, apes, humans and everything, learning about how we as humans evolved. There's also offshoots where you learn about the dinosaur kingdom and also the solar system, so there's something for everyone. It's educational, fun and also easy to run, only needing a 1GHz processor, 1GB of RAM and barely any graphics, one of the lowest spec on this list. Cave Crawler is a short, 2D, side-scrolling action platformer where you explore caves filled with interesting enemies and fun platforming challenges. This game is simple and fun. Five levels, five unique enemies and a boss fight. It's short and sweet. Graphically, obviously, it's super simple, but it's backed up by a really cool retro-inspired style and the music is also good. Naturally, this game is very easy to run. You only need a single core processor, 1GB of RAM and dedicated graphics. So yes, you can play this game. 100 Hidden Frogs is kind of a bonus one. It's the simplest game on the list by far. You find frogs in the picture and you click them. Any processor, integrated graphics, this is by far the easiest game to run on this list. Torum Online is the latest mobile MMORPG to make it to the PC platform, and it's honestly not that bad. It's an old school anime MMO through and through, and it has similarities to games like Mabinogi. It has a diverse class system, a decent story, and lots to do outside of combat which is great, however the game naturally tends towards grinding which is, to be fair, very normal for an MMO. Given its mobile roots, it makes sense Torum Online runs well on the PC, the minimum requirements being a Core i3 processor and a GT 1030. Exoblast is a pretty sweet game, as it takes the timeless idea of Pong and transforms it for the 2022 audience. In Exoblast, you choose your pilot, each of which have unique talents that will affect the game, and you also choose your ship, which are super diverse as well. You then hop in game, seeing the awesome pixel art and hearing the synthwave music, and it all comes together quite well, especially given how easy it is to pick up. 
What's also easy is how easy it is to run. You just need a Core 2 processor and 2 gigs of RAM. A quick mention must go to Krunker.io, which is arguably one of the easiest to run low-spec shooter games out there. Krunker is an arena first-person shooter focused on fast movement, quick time to kills and tons of classes surrounded by insanely creative custom maps. Now I've made a ton of videos on this game and it's still pretty fun in 2022. And if you want to support the channel then make sure to sign up to Krunker using my referral link in the description below. Or don't, just go to Krunker.io, try it out, it's a pretty fun game that's worth a try. Crab Game is Danny's latest idea to take over the world, a Squid Game inspired title which is pure chaos and fun. Not only is the gameplay and movement awesome, but the maps and modes are incredibly fun. Then add on the insanely entertaining proximity voice chat on top of all of this and it's obvious why Crab Game is really popular. Best of all, all you need is a Core i3 processor, 2 gigs of RAM and an Intel HD 520. Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel is the definitive digital card game for the iconic anime series and it's fully released for free on Steam. It's got awesome looking graphics, a sick soundtrack, a fully customizable deck where you can unlock new cards and overall it's super fun. To top it off, this game is also fairly easy to run as you only need Intel HD graphics, so overall well deserving of the number one spot.